Yay! Aunt Mbali, aka Miss Break the Silence of Abuse, has transformed into Miss Break the Silence of Bufebe as she shamelessly admitted to screwing another woman's husband. Hello? Hi. Um, it's like just a quick one. Um, uh-huh. so as far as I know, I just wanted to hear it from you because I'm hearing it from him. You guys have decided to continue your relationship. Uh, no, that's not what we spoke about. The last time we spoke was after we spoke. Mm-hmm. And I was waiting for what you had said. As I have said to him, I do not want his temple and I'm not going to change my mind. So, Mina, what mm. I'm hearing from him is that he Kubega, regardless of what I want. So, Jai and I have businesses together, um, or ventures uh, that took place before we even did, were in anything. You were hurt when you spoke to me. And I know that feeling. That's not a feeling I want anyone to to go through which is why i kept silent um and i took it in and i took your pain in and i completely understood where you were coming from um something drew me back and i was like you know what okay let's try and from that trying um i was telling him that i was doing a lot of question asking with regards to what it entails to be in this temple apart from watching a couple of shows i know people in south africa a couple of friends a couple of friends of friends that are in his temple and i've done my homework and i understand that it needed to be received at home first and that was my thing i think we both agreed that we can't keep quiet it was all behind my back it was completely mm-hmm. wrong because you guys were having sex, right? Uh, yeah. Uh. So understand this. You guys are sleeping together. That's a whole different step on its own. And every time you said you said every time you've used protection is that absolutely true? Or there have been times of passion where you guys did not use protection? No. I have condoms in every facet of my world in my car right now, these condoms. I just, no. Instead of leaving his wife and he offers you second I'm wife. I'm not even divorced yet. How would I ask for something like that? Another thing that's bugging me is I asked him, has Enche been to our house? And no, he's- I've been to your house once, nothing more. I went to your house, I think there was a braai. Um, that he was having with his friends. I went there and yeah, that was the only time. Valentine Bango's husband, Justice Hani and Entlembali have apparently been friends since they were teenagers. At some point, Justice Hani made a move on Entlembali who quickly shut it down as she had her eyes on affluent black coffee. At the time, Justice Hani was a broke boy. So according to Entlembali, he didn't deserve any coochie. I know that's right. But after her husband, Black Coffee cheated on her countless times with supermodels, varsity students, city girls and plain Janes, she decided to run back to Justice Honey who had managed to bump his cheese up over the years. So I guess it's true what they say. A shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to ride on. Like most trashy men, Justice Honey decided to wife the quote-unquote girl next door and have her beggazilla ring through his struggles. Once he had made it in life, he spat her out and opted for the endless of the world. The women who never looked at him twice, Essa Shizila. You would think Entlembali would think twice before engaging in any kind of relationship with a married man, given that Black Coffee dogged her out and abused her in every sense of the word, allegedly.
now going to talk. I am going to spare absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing that has happened with which in my marital home. This is just an opener to say, women, we need to stop protecting these men. We keep saying we are tr trying to build a black nation. And that's what I was trying to do. I uh, did not want to be that woman to break down a man who so many love. But that man is breaking me down. And I am saying enough. Today is the last time I am silenced by any cause. Yet miss, that man is breaking me down. Is helping another man abuse and break down his wife. If you didn't know that cheating is a form of emotional and psychological abuse, now you know. The hypocrisy of it all. The double standards of it all. A shame and a scandal, darling. A shame and a scandal. Not only is she entertaining this man, she is laying it low and spreading it wide open for him in her car and even in his marital home between the sheets that his him and his wife share in the kitchen where his wife cooks for him and in the dining room where this man and his wife bond with their children sis the fact that she has become the very same woman who contributed to the disintegration of her marriage is appalling to say the least how do you go from a doting wife and a woman empowerment advocate to a married man side chick and a woman abuser? How do you claim to relate to another woman's pain because you and her share similar experiences yet simultaneously be the cause of that pain? Awuni perhaps? How did you go from sweet little victim Antle to an evil home wrecker in the blink of an eye? How are we expected to believe anything that comes out of your married men Totolozi sucking mouth pertaining to being violated when you yourself are a violator? On top of that, you and your married Skobunki boyfriend go as far as insulting the entire country's intelligence by releasing a statement that reads as follows. To whom it may concern, it is with great regret that I use my social media platform to address issues pertaining to my personal life. In the past few weeks, allegations were leveled by my wife about my friend since we were teens, who is also my business associate, Entlembalim Lodwa. I categorically deny everything stated about Entle pertaining to mine and her relationship. She unfortunately got herself into a messy issue as a friend and covered for me, unaware that it would lead to this unfortunate event. I regrettably understand that my statement could be moments too late and a narrative has been built up about her already. She is one of the boys and simply covered for me. She does not deserve any of this. I will throughout the process assist in clarifying any more illegal footage from a significant other. This is a matter that needs to be handled within my household as other issues have been in the past and have never been extended to any other third party. J.M. Hani. Justice Butata King! Why you tamaya kali rete? Black coffee must be single-handedly punching the air in vindication right now. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. Speaking of punching the air, the original slay queen, Ukanyimbao, Usekove Imoya Yeningi, as she asserts, and I quote, You do not have a calling. It's anxiety. This is the most anxious generation, and that's why we have so many Sangomas. Anxiety is wild. You will hear drums, I swear. <laughs> Laugh it off, you aren't alone. Just get magnesium, a bit of sun, B12 and some C. That's the only C you need, unquote. 
at this point you can imagine that iningi besilingangazela into kuthelo some even went as far as asking her what she knows about matters involving amadlozi when her own ancestors can't even recognize her as she's transformed herself into a white woman who looks like a horse so kanyimba will further went on to say i'm not attacking you i'm just saving you money Stop buying cows, chickens and goats instead of buying melatonin to help you sleep and to boost your serotonin thus elevating your mood. With magnesium tablets and lots of B12, you can be your own healer. Woo! Gamuzwa mina uses 3.5k in her bank account. I used to hear drums and dream of snakes between 2 and 3 a.m. every morning, chal, until I started taking melatonin and magnesium supplements, journaling as well as confronting my traumas. In the same breath, I do believe that most of our people are just being forced to return to their roots because nizilibe lubani zalwa ngobani. In other cases, abantu banyiswa umjolo nje bese bebona kungcono ukuyothwasa. Esimele sinjalo ke mina ngithi shiyindoda e Dubai. Hephume ngathi uyabuya. 